he says a lot of what like girls want to hear. Like he said the same thing to me. Yeah. He was like, oh, like my mum and sister would love you. Oh. He was me he was saying about like meeting Copy up, and, and then he said, oh, you can. Welcome to Heat Dates, and it is my first Islanders of the season. Andre and Charlotte are here. Thank you. Guys, I'm raging. Not to start the show off on a negative note, but I'm gutted you both left. I know. I know. Andre, let's start with you. I feel Perfect. like I didn't see you enough. Mm -hmm. The other Islanders talked about how much of a big personality you have, and I didn't see it. I wanted to see yeah, more of you. Yeah, honestly, honestly. Tell me a little bit about that. Like, what were you like in the villa? Were you bonkers? <laughs> I wouldn't say bonkers, I wouldn't say bonkers, but a vibe. Like yeah. I was vibing with everyone. Yeah, like nice. I was I was the little big brother for everyone as well. Mm. So I was like consoling everyone. Yeah, how old are you, Andre? I'm 21. Christ. I'm I'm quite mature for my age. You're a small you know, little man. baby. I'm indeed, I'm You were indeed. only born just 10 <laughs> seconds ago. Um <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you even got to the point, because I was the youngest in the villa. Yeah. When we were asking everyone for their ages. I was like, damn, like, your birthday starts with a 1990? Damn, like, what? Yeah, that's uncomfortable they, for me, yes. Andre. Sorry about that, guys. You were the youngest <laughs> and I was the oldest. Yeah, you were. Know. <laughs> Big from both of you, yeah. though. Let's talk about that just quickly, actually, for a second, Charlotte, because people made a thing about the age. I'm 33, so I'm yeah. older than you. And I was like, this is, being 30 is not old. It's a very sexy age, yeah. for indeed. anyone wondering. <laughs> um, but how did it feel being in the villa? Because obviously, like, Dre, you don't come across as 21. Thank you. I mean, I've met you for four seconds, so let's see. <laughs> but like, how was it being in the villa with people of so many different ages? I mean, I do feel like most people in there were like mature. Yeah. And I feel like age is just a number. It just depends on like the individual. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Exactly. Back to you, Dre. Yep, yep. Is there anything you regret from your time in the villa? I don't have any regrets. Mm -hmm. However, if I could change the way that I've done some things, yeah. we were like, held my mouth sometimes, mm. I would definitely. Was like, that when you went over and stopped Catherine from talking to Zach, was that one of those moments? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of the moments. I wish I kind of just let that let that slide, let that happen. But I get it. You were feeling the vibe yeah. and the passion and you just kind of... <laughs> I just burned. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Out of nowhere. Because like, there was a lot that happened that wasn't shown on screen as well. Yeah. And basically we we're having this amazing conversation. And then I got busy for like five seconds, came back and I'm like, Oh my gosh, he's going to take my girl. I was like, oh no, I can't let that happen. Um, so it was an interruption, not like, so as in you were interrupted just as much as you interrupted. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so it was okay. a, bit of, a bit of both, a bit of both. He sneaked in, did he? Mm, very mm. interesting. I, I and then it didn't end up working out with those two. It didn't. But actually, yes. I'm going to go... <laughs> <laughs> are you going to keep your heart for Catherine, like, as the series goes on? In terms of her doing great in the series, absolutely. Like, I'm wishing nothing but the best of her. But you've um, moved on, haven't you, babe? Yeah. I'm, you've I'm, moved I'm, on. Yeah, no, I've kind you've of moved, moved on. on. Watching it back, I was like, hmm, interesting. I saw some conversations that I wasn't present there to see. Yeah. And things as well that happened that I wasn't there to see or hear. Mm. And watching it on the show, I was like, Hmm, this is very telling. Okay. It's very telling. A lot of hmm. I know. Hmm. I'm really enjoying it. I would just put my knee up and I was like, hmm. <laughs> okay, hmm. Very okay. pensive man, old Andre, so, isn't he? Yeah, very much so. But... Um, Charlotte, tell me a bit about you. Is there anything you regret from your time in the villa? I have no regrets. Um, I promised myself I'd stay true to myself before I went in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I did exactly that. I could have faked. To pretend I was like, it, like, like into someone to stay longer, and I wasn't going to do that. And yeah. I stay true to myself. And, Good girl. Yeah. I was fine with leaving early as well because I feel like everyone was more, they had more stronger connections, whereas yeah. I just wasn't really feeling everyone, anyone on a romantic level. Looking back though, if you had to couple up with someone right now, and I was going to give you five pounds for the pleasure, yeah, who would you pick? It's um, a lot of money. Five pound, wow. Whew. Um, I would say... Could get you half a prep baguette. Ty. Ty. Mm, yeah. He's a bit, everyone's a big fan of him. By the way, I've just realized I've been so rude. Guys, I got you a drink. Oh. oh. Thank you. Because this is a date, you realize, right? It is indeed. Lovely. Do you like three-way dates? I do indeed. Thank you. Dream is straight in. Yeah. I do indeed <laughs> like three-way dates. How many three-way dates have you been on? I mean, this is my first one, but I can get used to this. Same. I can get used <laughs> to this. This is your first as well, one, Charlotte. Yeah. Well, welcome. Apple juice. This is a good first impression. Cheers. 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 Eyes. Eyes. Does she get a bad sex life? 
about oh, sex life. Oh, is it? Yeah. Wow, mm. I'm going to be chasing and yeah. open my eyes all day. Uh, mm. Yeah, mm. don't ever close your eyes now, Andre. Yeah, yeah, ever close your eyes. Right, I'm going to get straight into the show now. Perfect. We saw Zachariah reveal that he has oh, yeah. cheated oh, multiple yeah. times. Molly was like this. I know, she was I not know. Impressed. She was shook. And all the girls were like, Oh, you're a cheater! It was quite funny, like everyone jumped to the bandwagon. But what do we think about that? Is it going to rock the boat? I mean, I never really saw them like that strong anyway, so I just feel like... Yeah. Charlotte, tell me more. I just feel like I never actually heard them having like deep, meaningful I thought conversations. thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like it was quite vague and I never saw them really like laughing together. I mean, that might just be from what I saw, but mm. they, they'd be together a lot, but then I just felt like they were just sat there a lot. Like, and I used to think like, do you guys actually speak? Right, um, Not the ba they haven't got the banter. Because no. I do think that's, as we're learning from this mm. series of Love Island, communication is key. It's key. It's key. Yeah. Communication is key. Because obviously is key. Jess and Sammy have had a bit of a... I know, they've had a Barney, yeah. What do we think about that? Real or not real from Sammy? Because so, I feel like Jess is pretty, Jess is pretty like honest. She's pretty yeah, straightforward. Yeah, yeah. Sammy is, I'm not going to put any words in anyone's mouth, but Sammy does seem to be coming across like he's not sure what he wants for sure. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. I think as well, like he was playing it down quite a lot with how flirty he was with Leah. Yeah, Like absolutely. I witnessed them flirting a lot, like more him than her. And I feel like he was playing it down. So I think he said Leah was like a test. So I can understand why Leah was upset mm. because he was literally laying it on thick. And obviously you guys only see like an hour. Yeah. Um, but there was a lot more flirting going on as well. So the yeah, fact absolutely. he said like she was a test, I think yeah. it was a bit me. When we've done the challenges yeah. and Sammy and Leah would kiss. Yeah. Like, do you remember the eye contact like straight yeah. after? Mm. Like even Whitney at one point was like, it's giving sex. I and I know, was like, yeah. it is indeed. Like, yeah. It is indeed camera, giving camera. sex. It is indeed. But um, yeah, with Sammy, it's that one there where the second he got into the villa and he'd done those three dates, mm. he had said that Jess wasn't necessarily his type, mm. but he knew that he was Jess's type. So I feel like having that Has leverage as well, I think he's kind of bit weird, as well. no? Yeah, yeah weird. it is a bit weird. Yeah, bit weird. Bit. but the new girls in there now as well, the bombshells. Oh, yeah. So they seem to be vibing from what we saw last night. I'm and that's seeing, a and then I remember yeah. Jess saying like, "Oh, like he's always said he wants like a girl that goes skiing." So. Who knows? How niche. And she's his type. Yeah, How I know. Niche. Yeah. I've always said I will only date a skier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually a ski instructor, so maybe I should date Sammy. Well, oh. uh, rather not. Thank you, guys. <laughs> no, thanks. So also, my favourite couple, and it's been this way for about a week and a half now, is Meddy and Whitney. Thank you. Yeah, I've been saying this for the longest, there. but no one, like, I feel like on the outside, they're not getting the praise that they deserve. Oh, for oh being they they're like, starting to, though. I yeah, think they're starting yeah. to, definitely. They more than that now they yeah. are. Because Meddy doesn't care about what anyone yeah, thinks. Literally. He's just like, slow bed. He also is reciprocating the fact that Whitney wants to take things slowly. Yeah, and exactly. I think that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they had a snog, and it's the only one I've watched where I didn't feel physically sick. <laughs> And I think that is a good sign for, I think, potential TBC winners on the cards, guys. Absolutely. Yeah, I think they're up Absolutely. there for sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I really agree. feel like those two, for me, are my winners. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, me as I well. Like, them. the way that they get on to each other about the smallest things as well. Like, do you remember the day where Medi made everyone coffee? But Whitney. And yeah, <laughs> because he made me a coffee. And she came up to me, because this was so out of the blue, because he was making iced coffee. And he said, oh, I'll make you one. And then when she saw that he'd made me one, like we went for a chat. I don't think this um, was Ed. And then she said, I think he likes you. And I was like, what? Where's this come from? Like, obviously, she was feeling that for a reason. Yeah. And then she said, because apparently um, I was his type or something. And then yeah. how he had made me a coffee. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then like she was fuming. And then um, afterwards, he was like, oh, I'll make you a coffee as well. And she's like, no, don't worry about like, it. I'll, I'll make my own coffee. <laughs> Yeah. Da, 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 da. And I was like... Oh, we don't want another <laughs> Curtis yeah. Pritchard situation. Oh. And I also want to be the person that gets up and makes everyone a coffee so everyone's ready for the morning. Hi. The price on a bike, I can't bear that. <laughs> um, but I genuinely feel like they've got actual chemistry in there. They do. Yeah, they do. Also, they slow and steady do. rings the win race. It, it does, does it indeed. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyone else in the villa that you really feel is not being represented correctly in the public eye because I feel like you guys have got the perception of being in the in villa with these people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there a public perception that is completely different to something you're seeing inside mm. the villa? Mm. So we've got no. Molly and Zach and we've got Ty and Ella. Ella, who I love, but they're also very feisty with each yeah, other. I think it's are. even like that in person, to be honest. Oh, really? Like, yeah, in person, it is. It's always like, There's always something. They'll be something. cool for like 10 minutes and you'll think, maybe they're going to have a smooth sailing day 
no arguments. Five seconds later, that argument. Oh, yeah. guys, just make it pass one day. I, I, know, I also can't. do like that those two, were, that um, Ella was defending um, Sammy and Jess, being like, no, it's fine. They do argue, but they get that doesn't mean they don't. They're not compatible. I was like, no, it literally does, babe. Yeah. It literally does mean that. <laughs> oh. So we think they're gonna last on the outside. I hope so. Yeah, yeah I hope I so. Hope I just so. think because he's such a flirt. Like I was saying as well, there was a lot of like flirting that he was doing with me that hasn't been like Ooh, seen. What? There was like a hell of a lot. Yeah, so I was like, if he's like that in there, and even with like the challenges, like when we had the balloon popping one where we had to do like the sex positions oh and the desk, goodness. he did not want it to end. And he said it in front of her, he's like, yeah. oh, we can do more, like we can get some more balloons like, out. Bring like, the balloons, bring yeah, the balloons. Yeah, yeah, like he did not want to stop. So, but then maybe now they're getting a bit more close. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Casa and Moore's on but, the way though, guys. I know. Out I know. of all the couples, who do we think is going to have a rocky Casa and Moore? I think it depends on how Jess and Sammy are, but I think if they go back to each other, possibly them. Yeah. Um, especially if his type goes in more his side than her side, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who else? I, I was even thinking Molly and um, Zach as well, to be honest. Yeah. yeah See, I, I kind Molly of disagree. I feel like they're going to just be together like till the end and then mm. I don't know. I feel like because he said he was open, but he wasn't that open, like he wasn't very like flirty, he wasn't really giving me much. Then I was like, have you just got your head like completely set on Molly? But then like I said, I don't really see them like actually vibing. So I'm like, is he just playing it safe maybe? Mm. That's what I'm thinking as well though. It might be yeah. the smooth sailing for now until Bang! Yeah. Bang! And he's gonna take that. <laughs> I don't blame him. I, Dre, don't blame I, don't, him. I don't disagree with you. And yeah. also, what I would say is there was a lot of moving mad at the beginning. Oh, there was. So yeah, there I was. feel like oh, Castle Moore is going to be a hell. I can't wait. Honestly. I truly do. Because they're really bringing the game this year, oh, Love yeah, Island. Yeah, they are, Shout yeah. out ITV. Shout out Love Island. Because you are, <laughs> you are chefs kissing this series. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm on the edge of my seat at all yeah. times. I can't even hold myself down. Let's talk a bit about mate. Mitch, because he's he's making me honestly die with laughter with his he he's so random. <laughs> Him moving to Jess was one of I think the most random things that's ever happened in Love Island history. Yeah, it is random. Like it's it was he was like this. So I fancy Jess. <laughs> All the boys were like this. <laughs> Sorry. We weren't expecting it. Were Silence. Like, no, not a single yeah, one of them said anything. But do, what, do we think he's got a game plan? What What is Mitchell up to? I just think he says a lot of what like girls want to hear. Like he said the same thing to me. Yeah. He was like, oh, like my mum and sister would love you. Oh. He was he was saying about like meeting Copy up, and, and then he said, oh, you can come and see me. Like we can take the dogs for a walk. And I was like, well, I'm not driving to you. Like, he Love was like, that. I don't know. I just feel like he says the same sort of things. And then he also said to me, he was vibing more with me than Leah. He said like me and him have like more like flirty chat. And then the next minute the boys, oh, he's like really feeling Leah. And I was like, okay. Like, cause I wasn't really into him anyway, but mm. I just felt like you're literally saying one thing to me and then like to Leah. And then it's like, I don't know. I just feel like he kind of knows what he's doing. And he speaks about the future a lot. I saw him last night as well oh, yeah, yeah. on TV. He speaks about the future. He won't really like flirt like small. He'll just be like, oh, well, when we get married, because I said I want four kids. He's like, well, can we settle with three? Because I was so easy to just be like, I want a husband, I want kids. I was so straight up because I know yeah. what I want. And he's like, oh, can we settle on three? So he's very... Um, I don't think anyone yeah. talked about marriage in the villa except for Mitchell. Like, yeah. everyone yeah, was focusing on marriage. Now. I was like, I want to be honest. He I said was focusing on marriage. I'm thinking, bro, like, we're... we're <laughs> Two weeks in. Yeah, I don't think you can even legally get married, can you? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I'm, I'm going to be waiting. Be waiting. waiting for me? Of course. Oh. <laughs> um, but, um, no, but see, and, and, and from your perspective, because you were obviously there with Mitchell for a long yeah, time, yeah, like, yeah. how was it for you um, as a, uh, from the boy's side? It was it was funny, man. Like, Mitchell is, is definitely a character. And, like, watching him on TV is kind of portrayed in the right manner. Because although he's like he's he's a boy's boy and like we were all close, sometimes he'd do things out of the blue that were like, where's this coming? I'm from? not sure he is a boy's boy. I think he's a Mitch boy. <laughs> Especially after the recoupling where he chose Molly, he mm. gave that speech and then he was like, yeah, bro, I've done this for you to Zach. Yeah. And then after he came to us and he was like, he done me dirty. I'm gonna do him dirty and red to town. I was thinking, I'm sitting next to someone that might be. No, 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 I can't yeah. do this. So, um, yeah, it was like, he's he's definitely a funny guy, but I feel like some decisions are just made too irrationally, mm -hmm. I think. 
And he gets quite defensive, I think, when you when you guys oh, yeah, said to yeah, him. Because yeah. that speech was so out of like, blue. Like, I, I didn't expect him to pick Molly as well on the recoupling. Yeah. And then he gave this like deep speech and everyone's like... He yeah. still yeah. thinks there's a vibe. I'm sorry, yeah, but he yeah. does. Yeah, he does. He's he does, like, I know. He's like, anyway, we could just secretly get to know each other and no one needs to know. And she's like, Wait, no, I literally so am with someone else. Secretly. And then she slept outside as well. Like when he picked her, she literally slept outside and everyone was like, is she like joking? And then oh, yeah, she slept outside. Very awkward. Yeah. Very, very um, awkward. Who were you both closest to in the villa? Leah. To be oh. honest, I was close to it. Everyone, like oh. I was, I was vibing with everyone. So when they sent me home, I was thinking, oh, damn. I was I really that... gutted that both of you left, honestly, because you're both such great vibes. You've got great Thank personalities. You. I wanted Thank to see you. more, more, more. Yeah, How do you like it? How do you like it? So if you would ask to, would you go back in Casa Amor? Because I, I would love ooh. to see it. Yeah, would I would. I mean, yeah, I would. Because they'll oh, actually no, because there would be other guys anyway going in there. So, yeah, yeah. And the new guy's quite nice. The new bombshell. He's quite yeah, dishy. He's lovely. Yeah, he seems Got nice. Very, very well kept eyebrows. Yeah, definitely. yeah, he does. Very well kept eyebrows. Oh, final question: Do you think him and Catherine have got a shot? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think there's a bit of a vibe. Exactly. He I likes holding her hand, which is to me that is love. Yeah. That is love. Yeah. A boy once broke up with me because I asked him to hold my, oh hold my, my hand. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I, won't, I, I won't do that. <laughs> I won't do that Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm yeah. so gutted that we're missing out on more of you, but we're going to see more of you in the future, I hope. Exactly, hopefully so. And thank you for joining me on this thruple date. What would you rate it out of a 10? 10, babe. 12. <gasps> I think I you're trying to get in my pants. Really. <laughs> I love to see it. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for both of you. Thank you so much for joining Thank my heat day. <laughs> right, I've got rid of Andre because I feel like red flag roulette today is going to be girls only. Charlotte, you have to take this for me. Thank you. I'm going to read you a list of scenarios. You have to wave that flag if you think it's a red flag or not. Okay. On top of that, you're going to spin this wheel for absolutely no reason. It has no correlation to the questions. Okay. So kick it <laughs> off, babes. Give it a spin. How do you do it? Just like that? No, you go like that. Ah, okay. It's quite satisfying. We used to pretend that it had meaning and then I was like, this is pointless because it has no <laughs> meaning because I couldn't remember what colours it had landed on. <laughs> anyway, ready for your first one? I'm ready. Your date wants to be exclusive after less than a week. Bearing in mind you've just come out of the Love Island Villa. Oh, that's weird. Oh. I think that's too much. I think if someone's too keen, it puts me off. It gives me the ick. Does it? It does. Okay. I do like a bit of a game. I do like a bit of a challenge, not gonna lie. How many weeks do you think it would take you to, to be ready? Um, I mean, it depends like how intense it is. If it's literally just like seeing them like once a week, then that will take like a long time. At least Two like... Years. Yeah, yeah. Six years later, <laughs> Charlotte's ready to be your girlfriend. Um, but it depends. Yeah, I don't like someone who's too keen. Okay. So, yeah. It Take depends. note, boys. <laughs> right. Next one. Spin the wheel for no reason. Lovely stuff. Okay. One of your good mates. See, I didn't even wait till it stopped. It means nothing. <laughs> Straight in there. Um, one of your good mates suddenly decides. This is a good one that they fancy you. Yeah, I don't think that's a red flag. Oh, you think it's fine? Yeah, I think so it's fine. So you think fine. Mitch isn't moving mad in there right now with Jess, where all of a sudden out of absolutely nowhere. I don't think so, I don't know, because it's Mitch, I do feel like Mitch does like everyone. So with him, I think he is just a walking red flag, if I'm being honest. <laughs> um, but I think normally, no, because I do think like feelings can develop and I feel like sometimes, especially me, I usually like categorize someone to be just a friend and then sometimes feelings can come into it, so yeah. <laughs> You're giving some good insight, Charlotte. <laughs> I wish you stayed in there longer. Right, spin that wheel. Both of us watching it for no reason. Ooh. Ooh. Your date makes everything into a joke, like everything. So you could literally be like, my cat died and he's like, yeah, but. Yeah, I don't, I, I like someone who's funny, but not to the point where like everything is funny. Cause I think that would definitely give me the ick. Yeah. Lots yeah. of icks from you, Yeah, Charlotte. I know, Love I get it. icks quite easy. Oh, do you? Mm. What's your biggest ick? Mm, I said this the other day, fancy dress. I don't like it when a guy does fancy dress. Don't mind if it's like something sexy, but if it's like... What sexy fancy dress? Like, like, like a, a policeman or, oh, or a spot. fireman or something. But, um, okay. yeah, not like a big bit of toast or like a ghost or something. I don't like that. <laughs> I, don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Not a big bit of toast. Yeah. Not a ghost. No. But a fireman is fine. Yeah. Okay. okay. Your date farts in front of you. 
on the first day. No, no, just in general, farts in front of you. Could be the first day, could be the second yeah, day. Yeah, red flag. I think things cringe me out really easy. Like if it's We're my boyfriend. We're learning that, Charlotte. If it's like my boyfriend, then that's fine. But on a date, that I would be like really embarrassed. Like for him, it would literally like, I would be dying inside. I wouldn't find it funny. I'd, I'd, what I'd would you do? Right. You're on the sofa, right, Charlotte, yeah. and you're watching a film. Um, and the film is not about fancy dress because that would be yeah. a bad idea. <laughs> he leans over and as he leans over, just a little... No, no, I'd have to leave. That would like, yeah, You'd that, have to leave. that would really make me... And if he was, oh, sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm cringing. And what if he then got up and went and got into an outfit that was a piece of toast? <laughs> I would be out of there. I would literally be out of there in seconds. Okay. Yeah, I would be out. Right. I'm <laughs> it's getting to no know from you, me. girl. Do you know what? I think that was one of the best red flag. Do you know what I think? That was one of the best red flag roulettes we have ever had really? on this show. Charlotte, oh, I am you. obsessed with you. And I'm going to come dressed as a piece of toast wherever I go. You're fine. Yeah. <laughs> I will literally wear that everywhere now. I think that's the best thing ever. Thank you so much to Andre and Charlotte for a lovely show and a smashing red flag roulette. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>